Hey my love, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Zuki for those who don't know. So today we are beating up this face. This is what we are doing today. It's been a while since I did a makeup video. It's been a while since I did a full face of makeup with the lashes on and I really missed that. So today I decided I'm, I am just beating up this face. I'm just doing my makeup. I'm just taking my time doing my face so if you want to see me do my face beat my face please continue watching okay so going straight into the face into the makeup i have already uh, moisturized my skin and primed i used my vitamin c serum which i really like and then after that i went in with my pons moisturizer which is a cream i like to use it um, underneath my makeup because it has a great cost like an SPF so I really like it underneath my makeup and then after that I went in with my primer which is a matte primer so when it comes to my base I like to balance things out I don't like to go in with everything matte when it comes to makeup I also don't like to go in with everything hydrating so I balance out my hydrating products and also my matte products so let's go into the face so when it comes to my foundations i think if you watch my videos you already know my favorites by now my ultimate favorite is my l'oreal foundation love this girl to bits and pieces recently i've been also using this one i decided to bring this one out it's been a while since i used the matte version of this foundation so this is a matte infallible foundation the only problem with this one is that it creases around my mouth i already have smile lines so it really sits into my smile lines and it creases um around my smile lines but then i also like this foundation i like the coverage i like the match to my skin um i also introduced to the catrice foundation to my collection which i also like and the pretty natural foundation from essence which i also like for my everyday foundation basis and i also have my two mix foundations which i mix also these two also like them so so much but today i haven't used my naked foundation in a while so I'm going to use this Stay Naked Foundation from Urban Decay. I haven't used it in a while, so if I'm shocked, please don't be alarmed because I, I really haven't used it in a while. Okay. So I'm taking that much and oh my brushes are dirty girl the brushes are dirty so do not mind that so i'm going in with this foundation and i am just buffing it into my skin So that's the foundation my face is looking a bit matte but do not worry i have hydrating setting sprays so to contour my face i really want to beat this face today so to contour my face i'm going to go in with these two concealers from nyx so this one is a matte 
version of the concealer and this one is a hydrating version of the concealer so i'm go going to go in with my um real techniques expert face brush just to blend in this contour concealer around my forehead and also on my cheekbones There we go. Now I'm going to contour my nose. So I don't want a lot of concealer just to have control when applying it on my nose. So with me, I start with contouring so that if I go in too much with the contour, I can clean it up with the lighter concealer, the highlighting concealer. So that's how I do it. There's no other way for me. So each and every person does their makeup differently. So each to their own, this is how I do it. So I take it up to my brow just to have everything seamless. And then I'm going to take my LA Girl Concealer in the shade On just to highlight under my eyes. As you saw, I didn't go in with foundation under my eyes because I don't want to crease. And then I'm also going to take this concealer on the tip of my nose. I'm gonna go back with the brush. And then after that, I'm going to go in with my NYX concealer just to get more coverage under my eye. I really love this concealer for under my eye. And it is a matte consistency.
this beauty blender is the best when blending out my concealer it's really so soft i like it so so much so i'm taking my foundation brush just to blend out the harsh lines between my concealer my foundation and my contour So to set under my eye, I'm going to go in with my two powders, my Yardley and my Banana Deep from Makeup Revolution. So next up, I am going in with my Revlon Color Stay, just to contour my nose and also to set my contour around my cheeks. There we go. So now I'm going to go in and fix my nose contour. So next up, I'm quickly going to do my eyeshadow. So I just want to lighten up my brows. I like doing this. I like when my arch, the end of my brow, is looking light. So I'm going to go in with my phone just to prime my eyelids for my favorite go-to eyeshadow so for my eyeshadow i'm going in with this brown all over my lid I like this eyeshadow so so much when I want a chocolate looking eyeshadow even though on camera it doesn't look as dark as in person so I wish the camera could reflect how brown and chocolatey this eyeshadow shade is so I I apply it just messy and then I'm going to fix it by blending it out And then I go into my Makeup Revolution palette. I go in with this light brown shade. This is how it looks. Just to blend out this brown shade.
And then I will also take the shade on my lower lash line. Oh, for blush, I am going in with my Makeup Revolution Blush and Highlighter Duo. And I love this blush shade so, so much. So I'm just applying it on the apples of my cheek. And then now we are going in with my powder my face powder to set everything So the reason why I went in with the blush first, as you can see, the powder is really toning the blush down and I really like that. So that's why I go in with my blush first and then I go in with my powder just to set everything and bring everything together. Let me do my eyeliner, my lashes. And then I can remove the powder under my eyes. So two hours later after load shedding, I am back to finish off this face. And my sinuses are making me so congested. I was panicking the whole time. I wanted this face to stay until I come back and finish off this video. So let's finish off the video. So the last time you saw me, I only had my eyeshadow done and i was doing my eyeliner so i applied my lashes and now i am going to do my lips so i will go in with my two favorite lip liners the la go in the shade espresso and the dark brown from a beauty store called mimikyu but first i think i need to go in with a bit of vaseline just to hydrate my lips and then I will go in to line my lips and I also did my hair this ponytail was giving me troubles but then we managed so let me line my lips And I think I'm going to go in with my lip from NYX, my soft matte lip cream. It looked like I was trying to overline my lips a bit. Okay. I think when I let this dry, then I'm going to fix it after. Yeah. And then I'm going to dust off this powder under my eye. There we go. And then I'm going to go in with the inner corner highlighter. 
which we obviously need. I cannot go without it. Oh my goodness, I do have, I was using my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette, but I do have my Makeup Revolution highlighters. Okay, this one is messing up. So I'm going to change this shade a bit. There we go, I like the shade so much. I tried it that other time when I reviewed these two palettes and I like the shade so much so yeah um, let me set my face so um, this is the setting spray hydrating setting spray but then I'm finishing this up And then lastly, we go in with my mascara for my bottom lash line. There we go. And this is the final look. I know it looks like I look a bit dark. The lighting looks dark. It's only because it's later on. It's different than earlier on when I was starting with my makeup. Um, I can see that. But this is the final look. This is the finished look. I really enjoyed beating up this face. It's been a while. It's been a while doing a full face with the lashes on. Um, I tend to shy away from lashes because i get a lot of lash glues that irritate my eye that's the problem that is the reason why i haven't been doing a lot of looks with the lashes on i was giving my eyes some time to recover because of the lash glues so i'm back to wearing my lashes and yeah i really hope you also enjoyed watching this video watching me beat my face please don't forget to like comment subscribe and also share the video and i will see you in my next upload